Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of the latest gaming news as of the 18th of June. My name is Amata and I'm here to bring you some interesting news on Star Wars Battlefront as EA has commented on why DICE is a great fit for the game. And this was when speaking to IGN during an interview at E3. And EA Labels President Frank Jabot explained that the studio's experience with Battlefield gives them a unique set of skills perfectly attuned to taking on Star Wars. And he had this to say, Battlefield is a vehicle experience, it's a character experience. DICE has proven in how they develop Battlefield as far as being able to do air, land, sea combat, all the way up to F-18s fighting. They've been able to demonstrate through Frostbite tech and through the design capabilities and talent that they can use these huge epic set piece wars. That's the kind of dream for Battlefront. Hoth, the Battle of Hoth. You've got space, you've got surface, you've got infantry, you've got AT-ATs. That's the table stakes that they come with. They know how to do that. They're really good at it. But they're not just going to ape what we've seen in the past. They're going to bring their own sensibilities and design ideas. We want to innovate. We want to try new things. You guys had a blog said that said, hey, what would you like to see in Battlefront? There's a lot of stuff in there that we're planning on doing. There's a lot of new stuff that we're looking at too. From our perspective, it's capturing the epic Star Wars all-out huge scale. That's what we'll go after. And as well as this, he also commented on what EA plans to do with the Star Wars license, um, as they, of course, they acquired it not too long ago, and the publisher have announced multiple new titles, including one from Visceral, who, of course, were behind Dead Space. And IGN also asked him what he was planning and whether or not we should expect connections to the new trilogy of films. And he had this to say, We signed a long-term deal so that we can really invest. This isn't just a one-off. We want to create experiences that operate in the Star Wars universe, not just mimicking the movies, but be complementing the movies, the way that the Batman games have done. In the, It's in the world of DC's comics, the world of Batman, but it's not a literal playback of the film. That's our first assumption. The second assumption is that we think we can tell Star Wars stories in multiple genres. We're going to look at multiple genres and multiple ways to tell stories from a character point of view, from an epic all-out vehicle war point of view. It's a very versatile place to go. It's a very versatile place to design games. We're going to do it over the long term. You're going to see lots of different experiences from us. So what do I think on this topic? Well, it's hard to say because obviously the PR machine is in full swing now, both for the next-gen games and, of course, the next-gen consoles they're going to be appearing on. And, of course, while the ideas expressed here are definitely interesting and are good for some speculation and discussion, we obviously weren't given many hard details. I do like that they're going to be experimenting with different genres with the Star Wars universe, though. Um, of course, as he rightly said, Star Wars is a huge universe with all sorts of different stories, characters, and so on. You could make all sorts of games from it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Star Wars RTS, for example or even a turn-based strategy, that would be kind of cool. Uh, there's all sorts of possibilities, and although EA obviously have a bit of a bad rep when it comes to games, and for good reason, um, I have to say that since they've got rid of the old CEO and got the new CEO, they're actually doing quite a bit to reverse all of that bad rep, and one of the main things that they've been doing, of course, is completely getting rid of the online pass system. Obviously they've got a lot of work to do in terms of getting a good reputation with gamers because well EA has been kind of seen as the devil of gaming alongside Activision for a long time and it's going to take more than that for gamers to truly trust them again. However the ideas expressed here well I think this Frank Jabot does seem to understand Star Wars at least you know the mechanics of it and the, the the variety of it and the fact that they've they've got a long-term contract here obviously battlefront they haven't really shown anything all that they've said is that dice battlefield veteran developers are going to be at the helm which is cool i think that's a really good thing they're going to bring all of that knowledge to the table and their love of star wars to the table i've actually done a video already on this i suggest you watch it if you haven't done so already but basically they asked to be involved so obviously they've got a passion for the project and i would imagine that that will come through really strong in the game when it's actually released whenever that will be I am actually optimistic, and I'm not a huge, huge fan of Star Wars. I mean, the, the films are really good, don't get me wrong, but 
I'm a bit burned on the franchise to be honest because there just seems so many games and so many spin-offs and it just gets a bit tiring Star Wars this and Star Wars that however Star Wars Battlefront is a bit different and I'll be curious to see what EA does um, and see what these new ideas and different approaches that they're talking about actually are because well it's all down to speculation at this point and speaking of Oh, I would like you guys to comment down below and tell me what you would like to see from them. Like, in terms of, obviously we know what you want for Star Wars Battlefront, and feel free to comment on that. But what I more mean is, uh, what genres would you like to see from Star Wars? Would you like to see an RTS? Would you like to see a turn-based game? Would you like to see, I don't know, a point-and-click adventure? I'm just throwing these genres out there. I'm just curious to see as what you think would make a really cool Star Wars game that perhaps we haven't seen as much of from the Star Wars games and universe so far I'll be curious to hear your thoughts anyway that's me done for this video I hope you've enjoyed and as I said do hit me up in the comments down below get some discussion going and I'll see you next time bye for now